you know, it's always risky introducing a tame animal into the wild. Here's a look at McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman Forever, The Riddler. Batman faces off against two foes, the schizophrenic, horribly scarred former district attorney Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, and the Riddler, a disgruntled ex-Wayne Enterprises inventor seeking revenge against the former employer who unleashes his brain-sucking weapon on Gotham City's residents. As the Cape Crusader also deals with tortured memories of his parents' murder, he has a new romance with psychologist Chase Meridian. Does anybody else feel like a fried egg? Because if you do, if you do I, I've just made some. Let me know, okay. Just before, of course, we get a closer look at the DC Multiverse Batman Forever, Jim Carrey's Riddler, the tape measure is going to tell us that the figure stands at 7 inches in height, or he's going to be 17 and a half centimeters tall. For those that care, I did find all four figures at my local Toys R Us. Whoosh, what a relief off this guy's shoulders. I was really worried I was going to have to order these all online. I paid, I think, about like $32 each figure. Of course, I had to pick up all four figures, so you can already do the math. Multiply by four. Had already looked at at least one of those four figures, that being the sonar suit Batman, from a size standpoint. Batman is a little bit taller if you count the points on the tops of his cowl. Whereas before, we did get the sonar suit. It's already been a double-dipped uh, mold. This is the first time we've gotten ourselves a Jim Carrey Riddler. And I would hope as well, it's not the last time we're going to see this mold either. Uh, I'm sure stating already the obvious, they could do Platinum Editions, not only a white suit Riddler with the jazzy looking hair that he has, but also as well his jacket that keeps him safe while he's jogging at night. While sadly not being packed with riddles, Riddler does get packed with a fair number of other things. Like, for example, the figure comes include with a display stand. I know it's not really much different than normal display stands. We're going to spend a whole lot of time talking about this. There's a peg. There's holes on the bottoms of his feet. You can put two and two together. Literally, you can put two and two together. And move the stand off to the side. The figure does also come include with a trading card. The trading card, though, if we were to kind of just look at this, uh, Batman kind of would be a little bit larger in size and then like, Riddler kind of would be down here. Then we'd have Two-Face, Chase Meridian, Robin, Batmobile down below. So it's not really quite the case like Batman and Robin where you can kind of just line up the puzzle pieces and make yourself the poster because Batman is pretty much more front and center. And like I said, Riddler, if you want to go by a size standpoint, would be like right around, uh, right around here. Does anybody care? Nobody cares. Okay. Looking though at the back of the card, by the way, there's Jim Carrey there just... Tommy Lee Jones hated this guy on set and was very openly uh, telling him also as well, like, you imagine just working with a guy and he right, right away comes up to you and just says, just so you know, I can't stand you. Like, how do you work with him afterwards? Anyways, on the back of the card, it happens, though, to be the exact same read-up that was on the back of Batman's card. So if you're looking for something specifically to Enigma, you're not going to find it, at least not on the back of this card. Uh, going to hold on to these. I'm sure we're going to be joining those with the other two figure figure cards that we'll be looking at in an upcoming review. This is a little this is a little jarring, a little disturbing. Look at the thing that we got. Now we know already what this is supposed to be. If I didn't tell you though, it was a bat. I mean, you would just look like this was. It looked like some dead animal carcass laying at the side of the road, or you could put that on a dinner someone's dinner plates and just have a good laugh at their expense. This is though part of the bats. Uh, we did actually get ourselves the display stand that came included with the Batman. There's a hole right here, and of course, there's the ball joint. I haven't yet done this. This is the first time doing this. I may even have to heat this, because I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to heat this in order to get this in place. May have to leave this all with me, everybody. Uh, I will have to plug that in place. Let's see if I fare a little bit better, though, with the bat head. The bat head, if we assume this, obviously, to be on the bottom of his belly, we're going to take the bat head, and we're going to plug that in place. Hey, that's, that's a lot easier. Mouth still opens and closed. Nothing has changed in that territory. Of course, we still have to add the wings. Two faces and Robins. Maybe the other way around. You get the idea, though. There's wings coming at a later date. Let's move it's so disturbing. Moving off to the side. Let's look at the things, though, that come in clue with Riddler. First of all, he comes in clue with a cane for obvious things. I mean... How disappointed would it be if Rob Riddler didn't come in clue with a cane? The cane, I have to say, though, is a little softer of a plastic than I was expecting. Still, though, it manages to fit in his hands. He has, though, already two gripping hands. So right away, out of the packaging, you can already display the figure with it. With also, as well, the posability this guy possesses, you can get all those zany-looking Riddler poses. That's impressive. And you can display the figure that way. Uh, he also comes included while he's holding on to his cane. Actually, you know what? Let's get the cane out of his hands. He also comes with the little little wind-up bat bomb that we see at the beginning. Well, 
We see it once he eventually gets into the Batcave. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! He basically winds up the front of the head and then he just lets these bats go. I don't really know how destructive these bats would be. I mean, it doesn't look like they explode all that much, and yet it's enough to take out the Batmobile and take out the chamber that holds, houses all the bat suits, which basically was a way that Batman then had to introduce the sonar suit. And that was a way, of course, that Kenner got the chance to, well, release basically all the other. Was it Kenner still by then? I think it was Kenner by then. May have even been Mattel. But uh, of course, he does blow up quite a lot of the bat, bat cave using these tiny little bats. The bat head does not twist. If you were to twist it, you'd only just twist it right off and then you'd be, eh, then you'd be all sad. Don't do that, whatever you do. You could take, though, the bat bomb and put it into his hands. Um, he also does technically come also included with a relaxed hand, which is this hand right here, which serves not only for the that's impressive gesture that I had at the beginning of this review, but I suppose as well, you could take yourself the bat bomb out of his hand and you could also just kind of just fit into his hand this way as well if you wanted to, of course. Changing out the hands, by the way. And one other thing, too, he does also have a closed fist hand. So if you want to change that out, don't really see a need necessarily to change out this hand for this hand, because this hand eventually will be displayed, probably with the cane. But if you wanted to, I'll show you how easy it is to remove the hands. Just pop off one, you replace it with the other, pop it in place. Then, of course, he can take himself the bat bomb. I guess I could take the bat bomb. And just fit into his hands. Just kind of like that. And he holds it okay. I mean... Does it survive the blizzard test? It does. Hey, surprising. Does survive that. So he holds it pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So those are all the accessories. Let's get a closer look at Riddler. I saw right away, though. I was lucky enough that every other figure that I saw at Toys R Us, it was basically one of every one. It was one Batman. It was one Two-Face. It was one Robin. So if there was any paint problems with any of those, I would just be screwed. Luckily, though, for Riddler, there was two versions of Riddler. The first one that I picked up, the first one that kind of lured me over to that shelf... Happens not, though, to be this one. The other one kind of had a real wonky-looking eye. I don't know really what's the way it was painted. just didn't seem didn't seem like it was right. Then I happened to kind of look behind all the other things, and I sure enough found a second Riddler. And of the two head sculpts, it definitely had the better. Now, likeness-wise, whether you like Jim Carrey or not, I think we could all certainly agree that it looks quite a bit like Jim Carrey. He, of course, does have the mask on. I'm sure down the road we will be getting platinum editions of this guy. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. We get a white suit version with a crazy looking hair and the kind of little, I guess he had a little question mark at the bottom of his mask. This mask, by the way, is molded to his face. You cannot remove it. He does have the darkness around his areas of his eyes, though. Kind of a Jim Carrey style of smile, though. Again, whether you like the character or actor or not. And he's got, of course, the crop top on the top. Very much kind of... Uh, Kind of really uh, took some inspirational cues, I think, from Frank Gorshin's Riddler, which really isn't that a, that bad of a reference at all. I loved Frank Gorshin's Riddler. And like the suit sort of has the same sort of idea, very skin tight. Jim Carrey had to lose, I think, a lot of weight in order to fit the suit. I feel like the figure is OK. There are some issues notably with it. I mean, I guess one of the biggest ones is because he has these cup joints right here. And you can already see where I'm going with this. The joints, unfortunately, have to hide the part that the shoulder is going to attach into the torso. What it unfortunately means, though, that there's one area right here that clearly doesn't have question marks on it. You can kind of hide these in by kind of tucking them into the torso. But every time, though, that you move his arm out, it ends up just popping these things out, too. And it even more draws attention to the idea that there's no question marks there. I also feel, too, like while there's a fair number of them, I feel like there's so many question marks and they're so close in quarters to one another. I really feel like he should have a whole lot less of these, especially on his torso. To go back and look at the references, do we have the card? Let's bring back in the card. If you look at the card and then you look at the way they presented the figure, see there's so many less question marks on the actual suit design, and there's a lot more of them on the suit. I feel like they probably could have done away with maybe some of the smaller ones in favor of just leaving the large ones behind. There's a lot of them, and are clearly only printed here on the front and only on the back. You can see there's nothing printed on the side, so it likely was pressed onto the figure by like an ink press or like a printing press probably would have been uh, able to pr again print the front and back of the figure and he's also got it on his arm so i mean there's a fair bit of expense that would have had to go behind the scenes in order to get riddler looking like this i just don't feel like you probably could have toned it down a little bit P pulled and removed some of those question marks i don't think he necessarily needed all of them good looking overall body though um he does also have of course the different colored shoes which he does have also in the movie i feel like in the movie maybe they are a little bit lighter than this but i'm not going to fault the footwear that's on ned with enigma's feet of course he does have the peggles on the bottoms of his feet as well stop that now for the figure's articulation going back to riddler's face which again is pretty good on this guy head's going to rotate all the way around the head looks up the head looks down the head looks oh so to the side and also the side as well Arms rotate all the way around. There's no hindrances at all there. 
Yes, again, you can bring the arms out, but every time you tend to move it, you always end up popping these things out for it as well. And I think it just sort of loses a little bit of the illusion. Uh, he does have a swivel at his bicep, does have a double hinge on his elbow, and Riddler's hands rotate all the way around. Now, his upper torso is going to be on a very generous ball joint. You can also do the same with his lower abdomen area as well. Legs split out. You can take the legs and move forward. You can move them back. There's a swivel at the top of the thigh, double hinge on the knee, and then you've got the standard articulation there in the ankle, back and forth movement, back and forth rocking, and the figure does also have toe articulation as well. I haven't yet opened up Two-Face. I can already tell you probably Two-Face is going to be my favorite of the four figures, but I did want to kind of start things. So I did want to start things obviously with Batman because Batman obviously is the star of the show. Even though Val Kilmer apparently hated being on the set. It's funny that this set sort of filled with actors that didn't really even want to be there. Or sort of after they signed on, they realized later, you know, that I'm just not enjoying this. Val Kilmer didn't really enjoy it. Jim Carrey probably would have already been enjoying it had it not been for the case that Tommy Lee Jones just has to basically walk up to the guy and say, like, I just can't stand your guts. How do you act after that? Apparently he acted fine. I mean, I liked Jim Carrey in Batman Forever. A little over the top, a little Gorshin, and a little bit of Gorshin in your Riddler isn't a bad thing at all. Of course, Riddler is an ever-crucial part. If you want to get any progress made when it comes to the Nightmare Bat, you need, obviously, the body for Gor for uh, Riddler. I mean, again, it looks a little off and out of place. I mean, especially it looks, looks just like a, a carcass of a, an animal body left behind. Of course, we are going to be making better progress when we look at uh, Robin, and we're going to be looking at Two-Face. We're going to build those wings and add them onto the body. Uh, but yeah, I like I like the look of Riddler. Uh, you know, certainly as I wrap up this review, one thing I would only hope, seeing as they already have the body, seeing as they have the likeness rights in order to produce a Jim Carrey Riddler, you would hope that they're going to also do some platinum editions. I can already think of, obviously, two of them. The biggest ones being the white suit that we see at the end of the movie when we also see the sonar suit. And again, I'd love to see the jogging at night uh, glowing jacket. From a head sculpt standpoint, I mean, they would also also have to retool the hair in order to match the white jumpsuit that he has. But the jacket version of Jim Carrey, I don't think they'd have to do all that much. To, obviously, a different different style of body, but a similar style, if not identical, head sculpt. Those, I hope, are two future releases we're going to get from the folks over at McFarlane Toys. True to form, it is a pretty decent looking Riddler, if though to be a stickler to details. Like in the movie, you'll notice that his jumpsuit actually attaches around his fingers, so he should technically have more green running up the side of his sleeve, not just bare hands. He does, though, at least come in clue with his cane, his also a little bomb bat. Doesn't come with a bag. I don't think he necessarily needs the bag either that holds all the bombs. It's a decent looking Riddler with some decent levels of posability. Unfortunately, though, that same posability means that some of the details do get sacrificed. With those shoulder joints, those little cup pieces that cover over those joints, unfortunately, it does mean that all the kind of question marks have to be closer in quarters. He seems to have a lot more than he really needs, and what he has, they're so squished together. I wish they could have spread them out just a little bit more. If they can't occupy the space in his shoulders, at the very least, I think he should have had a whole lot less on his body. It just looks like he's riddled with questions, kind of very similar to the way he would have been in the movie. Now, again, I already stated I would have loved to see this guy get released again, and I'm sure that's some plan that they've got down the road to do a Platinum Edition Riddler, maybe two versions if we're lucky. If we don't get necessarily the jacket one, I hope at the very least we get the white suit Riddler, because I really like that look of him, before, of course, his head gets elongated in size. I think just before that, though, it's a pretty neat-looking design for Riddler. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have had the chance to find any of these. I know that's not necessarily more of a riddle. It's just more of a question. Have you guys had any luck to find these in the wild? If you haven't, of course, there's always the option of going to places like Entertainment Earth. Right now, they do have pre-orders, but they're slated to drop in September. Again, that was the option I was originally going to have until I was lucky enough to find these in the wild. <laughs> of course, making sure if you guys did enjoy this video, you all, it helps. You could do it a solid by hitting a like. You guys want to stick around for more so? I hope so. We're still going to be doing the reviews of Two-Face and also Rob. And I don't know which order we're going to be looking at that. It doesn't really matter because we now have a body. We now have a, a bat head. And we, of course, have a display stand to have the severed winged bat, at least for right now, suspended until eventually we add the wings. So, yes, those two reviews will be coming your way. Make sure you're coming back on a regular basis. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.